COVID changed so many aspects of our world. I mean, think about your life pre and post. Like there's so many things that are just so vastly different. But I think it's a huge opportunity. And it's one that we're just going full, full on, like exploiting in every which way in good ways. But if you think about in like a pre-COVID world, if you lived in Omaha, Nebraska, as an example, and you wanted to get into the space of innovation, most likely you weren't gonna stay in Omaha, Nebraska. Like, where were you gonna do that? Like, how are you gonna build a career in innovation in a space where there just wasn't infrastructure for that? There wasn't opportunities for that. So what you'd have to do, even if you didn't want to, was pick up your life and move to a coast, move to Silicon Valley, maybe New York, Miami. You'd need to move to a place where innovation existed. Other people were doing innovative things. There was career paths, there was infrastructure, there was attention, all the things that Omaha just didn't have. And then COVID happens, right? And maybe you were working at Google in Silicon Valley, experiencing innovation, loving the experience. And then all of a sudden you're told you can work anywhere. Like you're fully displaced because no one's coming into an office anymore. So as a result, it gave you the chance to go back to where you ultimately really wanted to be. Because what you wanted to do was raise a family with your family around you. You wanted to have similar life experiences that you grew up with, but you also were ambitious and you wanted to pursue your career. So you leave the valley and you go back to Omaha and you're able to still work from Google, but in Omaha now, and it's almost like you have it all, but now all of a sudden it's a post COVID world and you realize there's something still lacking is that in Omaha, Nebraska, there's no infrastructure, there's no ecosystem. There's no one to go and sit down with and try to find ways to just change the world. There's no one out there in Omaha, Nebraska that's solving really meaningful challenges and becoming an ultimate change maker. And you're missing that feeling that existed when you were in one of those major cities where there was pitch events, there was, uh, there was uh, investors, there was all that like energy, that hustle and bustle that just isn't where you are. Whether it's in Louisville, Kentucky, in Kansas City, in Omaha, in Bend, Oregon, it just isn't as present there. And you wanna find some way to have it all, where you have the innovation, but you also have the chance to really dig your roots and to raise your family where you ultimately wanna be. And that's what we're going after. One of the greatest lessons inside of the experiment that we've been running over the past three years was that there are opportunities in tier two, tier three, and tier four cities to launch innovation hubs, but not glorified co-working spaces because there's plenty of those in every city. And I'm a huge fan of that. I think it's great for these sole proprietors to go to a location to work with other sole proprietors so they're not by themselves. There's an element of just camaraderie that you can't have if you're working in your house completely by yourself that you can now have in a co-working space. But what we're bullish on is launching innovation centers in tier two, three, and four cities around the world that are actual asset management companies in that city where we go out and we do diligence and we find early stage software companies that are for sale. We acquire the IP of each of those software companies. We then take the IP and we put it in a Delaware C Corp and we take that C Corp and we put it in Omaha or in Bend, Oregon or in Louisville, Kentucky or Kansas City. We put it in these tier two, three and four cities and we start to scale each of those assets ultimately to distribution and eventually a liquidity event, an exit of some sort. So we are bullish on this because Mr. or Mrs. really talented innovator in Omaha now has the chance to build a business in Omaha wherever it is that they want to be and they don't have to uproot their life to live on a coast in order to achieve their career goals and aspirations we are all in on these tier two three and four cities we're going to be launching dozens and eventually hundreds of innovation hubs literally around the world hiring talent from each city or relocating talent to that city giving the city success stories that they can talk about creating a ton of jobs as each of the assets within each of the innovation hubs starts to scale, creating economic impact and bringing the community together around entrepreneurship. We believe that the next Silicon Valley is actually the world where we democratize and decentralize innovation and we give more people a fighting chance to get at the plate with us, get on the field with us to create seismic impact together. We can't wait to have big exits in these cities that have never had an exit before and now they're gonna have an opportunity to. So this is what happened in a post COVID world where you were decentralized, you were able to work anywhere you wanted, but there you were missing the energy of being around the innovation. So we're bringing that to you. So be on the lookout for innovation hubs that we are launching. The brand is called Create. Create is the brand innovation hubs in tier two, three and four cities around the world. And this is what a post-COVID world looks like. We're bringing the hub to you wherever you're located. All right, bye for now.